Hey everybody, it's Ben here, uh, standing in front of my garage with solar panels on it and my used all-electric car. Uh, what I've been doing is every month when I get my electric bill, I've been sharing the electric bill, not to brag or anything like that, but try to help inform people about a uh, real-world situation of what somebody could expect when they have a, a grid-tie solar photovoltaic system on their house or a garage or otherwise on their property. So I've got right here uh, the electric bill. Now, last month's bill, I only earned a $5 credit, and although it's a beautiful uh, beginning of October day right now, uh, September was kind of a crummy month. It was really rainy and cloudy, and it was just not good weather for solar, period. So I'm gonna take a wild guess here. I'm gonna say that um, on this bill, I'm actually going to owe the power company. I think this last month, um, I used more electricity than I produced. But let's open this up and see if I do, in fact, owe the power company. Now, even if I do, I already have a little bit of a credit built up, uh, so that credit should cover it if I do owe the power company. Let's open this up here. And we'll skip pretty much straight to the bottom line here. Total electric charges, $7.05. Uh, so sure enough, I do owe, but I also have a, uh, a credit already $37.57, so I still don't have to pay anything. Um, power company still owes me 30 bucks, so I don't mind that, but it really would have been nice to um, have still been making more power than I used. So let's take a look not just at this month, but what the total payback on the system has been. Um, originally, I spent about $10,500 out of pocket for the system, but then after uh, tax incentives, estate incentive, things like that, uh, all of this cost me about $6,500. Now I've had it uh, about two and one third years as of right now, and in that time I've made almost 17 megawatt hours of electricity. So if we multiply that out by 13 cents per kilowatt hour, we get $2,201.03. And if we divide that by the 6,500, which was uh, my actual cost when we're all done, um, we're at 34%. So essentially my solar system has paid uh, one third of the way to paying itself off. So uh, a little more than two years, that doesn't seem that bad. Uh, so if I further multiply the math out, um, just using the 2018 numbers, because that's the only year I have uh, a full calendar year for, so it includes summer and winter, uh, my simple return on investment is 7.2 years or approximately seven years, two months. Uh, and in fact, if you run that through like a investment calculator, that's uh, essentially uh, between a 10 and 11% simple return on investment. Now, of course, there's a lot of great reasons to go solar besides the financial reasons, um, but it's good to know that it can help you both uh, save green and go green. And typically it's the financial questions that I get the most about. It's October, 2019, and my solar panels are one third of the way to paying for themselves. I hope you like these videos. Please comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends, let other people know about this channel. I'd appreciate it. And check us out over at 300mpg.org. And until next time, stay charged up.